Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Path of Exile 2. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end because we are going to be fixing all of your FPS issues, lags, stutter and a lot more. So watch this video till the end and with all this said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that search for settings on your PC and once you are here, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off as it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background. Once that is done, go back, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your PC's performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. Here you have to enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimize for windowed games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and render latency. After that, go back and then here click on the browse button. Now go to the download location of your game. If you're unsure of it, open up Steam on your PC, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're here, simply copy this file directory, go back to settings, click on the browse button and then paste this directory on here. Then select path of exile x64 steam.exe, click on add. Head over to options, select high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, simply click it. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that you have to go over to the game download location and for that you can use the easy route by clicking on browse local files. Here right click on your game, head over to properties, then compatibility, then click on disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high dpi settings, click on override high dpi scaling behavior, click on ok and then click on apply. You have to do the same thing for path of exiles team, head over to its properties, compatibility, disable full screen optimization, click on high dpi settings and then override high dpa scaling behavior click on ok click on apply and close it step number three is the best launch option settings for path of exile 2 and for that you have to right click on your game head over to its properties and then have to put a hyphen sign over here and then type in use all available cores it's really simple to type in over here simply do that and it will use all of your cpu cores to render this game simply close it and minimize this next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your pc head over to your local disk c and then click on create name it path of exile 2 just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the path of exile 2 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can simply open it up and you'll find in six simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in here you'll find amd and intel cpu priority once again if you use an amd cpu like me you can double click and run the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority this will set up the correct dword value for your processor and improve its performance second one is ram optimization and it does the similar thing but for ram to calculate your ram you have to simply search for system information on your pc and then look for installed physical memory it is 32 gb for me so i need to use 32 gb ram registry right over here it could be different for you so you have to apply it from the presets i have given over here once again if you guys cannot find the performance that you're looking for or any adverse effects you guys can use reset to default to reset the settings back again. Third folder is Path of Exile 2 Priority and this is the most important one over here. You'll find in three simple registries over here which includes above normal, high priority and normal priority. What you guys have to do is leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which registry you need to use over here. It depends on specifications and I'll be telling you guys which one is the best for you. Next is PC Optimization where I have left BCD tweaks and Disable Memory Compression and Process Mitigation. You have to right click and run all of them as administrator. The basic task of them is running a few commands on your PC without you doing them manually. This will help you to reduce your input latency, CPU burden and optimizations of your PC. Fifth folder is the important one that is power plan settings. It's always good to have the correct power plan installed on your PC to disable power saving features that might be causing micro stutter, input latency and a lot more things. Right click on that, head over and run it as administrator. I've already done it. So the second thing is heading over to power plans. This will open up control panel right on your PC. What you guys have to do over here is look into your preferred plans as well as high additional plans and you'll find something called ultimate performance that is not already selected. Click on that and simply close it. This will disable all kind of power saving features that might be causing any kind of issues on your PC. Last and not the least is the programs folder where I have left three simple programs. Let's start with the first one that is clean temporary files. You have to right click and run this as administrator. 
This will politely ask you to delete all temporary files from your PC and you can simply click on any web button on your keyboard and it will delete them. These are all cache files which are not really important so you can delete them safely. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator again. We are using this software to set up the correct SFIO priority for our graphic card. Also, it will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority. And to do that, locate your graphic card, click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Click on apply and this will help your GPU to perform better while it's rendering the game. Last is the unparkcpu.exe and this is also a very important tab, simply double click to open it up. Windows by default has a tendency to disable the cores which are no longer in use and these cores are put into sleep mode. It is really not good while you're playing your games. And to fix that, you have to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. Click on OK and it will ensure that all of your cores are running well and fine. This will help you to gain extra FPS in the games. Once that is done, simply close your FPS back. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, packet loss, ping issues using no ping. You can download it from link in the description below. Once you open up no ping, you can see an interface like this where you guys can find over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Path of Exile 2 and click on select the server. This will show you all of the servers near to you. Simply select the one with the lowest amount of ping and then click on optimize this game. It will help you to one click optimize your ping. No ping acts as a VPN that helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and everything else. The best part about no ping is the settings here over here which offers you turbo games if you enable that it will help you to improve your keyboard response time and a dedicated fps boost section which offers you to improve your fps as well i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen huge differences while i played this game and i would definitely recommend you guys to use no ping so check it out from the link in the description below next step is disabling background applications and for that you have to click on your windows button and then type in local group policy editor if you guys do not have windows pro edition this will not work for you so you have to skip to the next step once you are here go over to administrative templates then click on windows components then head over to app privacy and you'll find in let windows apps run in the background simply double click to open it up and then set this policy to enabled that means this policy will be in action then you have to look for default for all applications and then set this thing to force deny clicking on apply will help you to disable all applications running in the background this will help you to save a lot of your cpu and ram resources and help you to keep a headroom for your games simply close it next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together on your keyboard and this will open up your task manager head over to the 4 tab that is startup apps and you will find in all of the applications which are set to enable right after the boot of your PC. You have to make sure that you disable as many applications possible for your PC as they are consuming CPU and RAM resources and not just that they are running processes in the background which is consuming your computation resources. The less number of these processes running in the background the better FPS you are going to get and for that I would recommend you guys to disable all of the applications that you do not use after you boot up your PC. Only keep the essential ones such as VG tray, wallpaper engine if you use that, rain meter, steam or any other thing that you use right after your PC boots up. Other than that, just keep everything disabled. Once it is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to options and then you're gonna have to set your renderer to DX11. This is a bit depreciated but if you guys are having a low-end PC and this game does not run on that, I would recommend you guys to go for DX11. However, for decent PCs, go with DX12. Display should be your graphic card and do the changes. Mode should always be set to full screen. Freezing should be turned off. Dynamic resolution. I would recommend you guys to turn this thing off but turning it on will also help you to improve your FPS. So you have to check which one gives you the best FPS and the worst input latency. For window resolution, go with the default resolution of your monitor. Upscaling mode should be set to your graphic card. Once again, I have an NVIDIA graphic card, so I have to use NVIDIA DLSS. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with FSR. For the max image quality, go with quality over here. Sharpness should be set to 60 to 80% right over here. HDR should be turned off. Scene brightness, I prefer somewhere around 1. UI brightness should be set to 0. Texture quality, medium. Texture filtering, 2x and isotropic. Lighting, go with shadows. Shadow quality, low. Sun shadow quality, low. Number of lights, low. Bloom, go with somewhere around 30%. And water detail level, go with low. Nvidia Reflex, go with on plus boost if that is available for your PC. 
background cap should be set to 30 triple buffering should be turned off dynamic culling should be turned off target frame rate go with the highest available over here engine multi-threading go with on graph details go with all graphs and show bar should be turned on transparency should be set to 100 percent click on save and that should be it you guys can now play your game with the best settings possible and best ideas possible so that is it guys for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave like and smash the subscribe button shout out to all the members who have been supporting to the channel right on your screen and if you guys want your name get the channel membership now and we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Fox and peace out